Final Score Friday. Sponsored by Richmond Pediatric Dentistry and Orthodontics and Loyalty Automotive. And welcome back to week one of Final Score Friday. Now, we have told you leading up to this season, there'd be several varsity games scheduled for Thursday nights due to a shortage of football officials. Nearly every week this fall, we'll see at least one game with our 804 teams played on a Thursday. And it started last night with four games originally scheduled. Of course, the game between Deep Run and Mechanicsville is, as of right now, a forfeit for the Wildcats. But there were three others around the area that did actually kick off. We head down to Chesterfield, where Matoka hosted Glen Allen. Last year was the first ever meeting between these two teams. And it was a great crowd down there in South Chesterfield County to see this battle first quarter. No score. Glenn Allen strikes first. Will Noel right up the gut, slips through a couple of tackles, and will find the end zone to give the Jags a 7-0 lead. Second quarter, tied at 7. Bryce, the athlete Yates, that's his Twitter handle, goes from his end zone and watch Yates do some magic as he goes 101 yards the other way for the pick six. Matorka will lead 14 to seven after the break. Get into the end zone, Bryce. There you go. Third quarter, same score. Noel, a second touchdown run of the night to tie it up at 14. But Riley Justice will throw to Paul Lewis. That's his second touchdown connection of the game. Matoka wins their season opener 21-14 the final. Also last night, James River hosting Elsie Bird. Now the Rapids had won two straight against the Skyhawks, both by one point each. Last night was definitely not one point each. Bradley Hurts pass tipped to Riley Owen, who is going to return it into Bird territory, but the drive would stall from there because later this Rapids pass picked off by Nazareth Copeland, and he takes it all the way back to the house. 35 yards for the touchdown. Hurt had a touchdown run later for the Skyhawks. They win 27-6 to open the season 1-0. and Henry hosted Atlee last night. The Raiders won by shutout last year and snapped the three-game losing streak to the Warriors in the process. First half, Calvin Sanders. Nine-yard touchdown run around the left end. And the Warriors have a quick 6-0 lead. Second quarter, you don't see this very much. Zach Chantre. 45-yard field goal for the Raiders, all leg. It was 6-3, Henrico at the half. Tay Gilpin scored for Atley. Sanders had another touchdown run as the Warriors hang on to win 19-17 last night over the Raiders. Last year, Highland Springs invited Julius Chambers out of Charlotte up to the East End. Tonight, the Springers made a return trip to the Queen City, first of two out-of-state games for the top-ranked Springers this year. They were down 14-0 in the second quarter. Aziz Foster Powell, a four yard touchdown run here gets them on the board is 14 to 7. Then Foster Powell again on their next possession from 33 yards out. This ties the game at 14. Christian Martin would have a 10 yard touchdown pass later to Noah Jenkins. Martin accounted for over 300 yards of total offense tonight. Yes, over 130 on the ground. They score 20 straight points and the Springers go on the road and upset the Cougars 26 to 20. We also head down to the 757 from Petersburg, opening on the road at Booker T. Washington. The Bookers won easily down in Norfolk last year. Bookers are down 14 to nothing at the half. They would get back in this game with a Trenton Pitton pick six. Nope. And they were down 14 to six, but Sean is happy about this one though, because Petersburg would hang on yes. for the win. Petersburg goes on to win 20 to 14 tonight and the Crimson Wave opens the season at one and oh. All right. Still to come, some more scores from week one and we will tell you about something new we're doing here called the fifth quarter. Uh -oh. Final score Friday returns right after this.